What's going on? Um, I got this here blaster two, three days ago. It's a 88 or 89, I think. Um, it's got, when I bought it, I was told that it was locked up because the rings were locked to the cylinder. Well, I figured it was crankcase, or not crankcase, the crank bearings or something. And so... I made sure I got it cheap enough, but I'll insert a picture of what it looked like before I took it apart, which it still is going to look like doo-doo. But here's the engine. What ended up being the problem was the flywheel, those parts right there, came apart, and... Here they are, and they were wedged into this plastic cover. As I said, the rest of the bike, or foil or whatever you want to call it, looks like terrible because we got the Rattle Can Masters just blacking everything. Like, why do you do this? It doesn't look good. And most of the time, it don't even stick. So, as far as plans go for this, I'm just going to probably put a piston in it just to be sure um obviously fix the flywheel get the right bolts for it because it's missing bolts everywhere clean it up good respray it it's got completely worn out shocks on it so definitely will be fixing that i'm pretty sure the back's good yeah, buying used foilers, you can really see some stuff. They had this whole deal like tied onto the carburetor because that piece right there is too big to actually fit the carburetor they bought off of eBay. And it was just sitting there just chilling on top of the carburetor. I'm sure letting all kinds of crap in. On to more issues of the thing. It obviously had had an issue at one point. All that's been welded. Seems fairly straight, straight enough to have a gasket and it worked probably um the biggest problem i saw with the bottom of the end is i'm hoping that i can replace maybe the gasket and it leak but with all this weld going on here it's not looking too good coming back a few year, uh, a few days later not a few years um got this paint on the frame looks pretty decent that's just some cheap rattle can i thought about powder coating it but if i'm thinking about selling it i'm not going to do all that because it's not worth it but yeah i got the swing arm off it's outside it's going to get cleaned the front i'm really not wanting to take all this off but it's the guess if it's the right way it's the right way yeah this power parts it had a Bill's pipe on. I'm going to put an FMF on it just because the bills look really bad. Um, all this needs to get stripped off or either just get a new plastic because it's got a lot of cracks in it. So I'm probably just going to chunk this and get something different. Got this KX here, KX100. It's almost done. It needs a key to go into the flywheel where it goes and the carburetor and just put it back together obviously and it should be ready to go got a new top end and everything moving on back here got this drz i'm parting out i'm gonna be putting parts on ebay for it got a complete motor it smoked really bad so i'm just gonna probably part out everything that's good and get my money back out of it maybe a little more tried selling it and couldn't get really that much more for it Got this here Honda CRF 150. Traded a 125 that was kind of whatever for this. It was running and now it's not. It got the carburetor soaking in diesel over here. And it's really seeming to do a really good job so far, as you can see. Hopefully that fixes that. 
got his CDI and some wiring and this priority box is gonna go on eBay. Maybe try and get a few bucks for that. I'm gonna be selling the Kickstarter at first just because these things are easy to ship. But yeah, for this week, this is basically all I got going. Hopefully, get this thing back together with the money I'm selling off the DRZ parts and maybe get some stuff done with some of the cars. But yeah, pretty packed out with dirt bikes and four wheelers right now, but maybe next week we can get something more done.